Man, I can't sleep with all this knocking. The worst part is, nobody's even at the door. I bet it's just the lack of sleep. It reminds me of when the government took all the kids. But that's probably just trauma. Nobody else lives in this forest. Nobody has been here for many, many years. Okay, maybe someone's out there. Dude, I'm, cool. I'm a fairy. Don't you believe in fairies? Nobody was at the door, but... I do not want any guests if they look like what I just imagined them to look like. It's scientifically impossible for the guest to be anything else. Maybe I can chase it off? I am lost. Where did my house go? It's been in my family for generations. It's so big, with tens of rooms that I literally can't remember the entire floor plan. Why can't I find it? Maybe I'm sleepwalking? Oh, thank God. You found me. I was worried you wouldn't be able to see me. Quick, let's play with the leaves and stuff. Yeah, this has to be a dream. You aren't real. Never were, never will be. I won't listen to anything you say, as you are just a figment of my imagination. Fine, if that's how it's gonna be. Let me show you something weird. I would see a doctor about this, but there aren't any. Which house is mine? Let's try. That one. Finally, I'm awake. I almost thought that was real. Strange, I don't remember this place. Is this really my house? The rooms are different from what I can recall. Dude, you're having a nightmare. I don't have time for this nonsense. Who are you supposed to be? The ghost of Christmas past? Well, I'm not Scrooge and you're just an illusion. If I touch you, six hours will be added to this night. Oh crap. I'm forced to play hide and seek with guests until morning? Yes. It's unfair if you go up or down a floor though. I can't use stairs. Time passes, and I slowly get closer to the house. Man, what a bad dream. What time is it? It's still night? How the heck did only one hour pass? Wait. Was that sound? The front door? Oh my god, this book isn't my diary. Where is it? I am gonna catch this thief immediately. I'm lost again. All I did was exit the front door and my house is gone. Again. You found me again. I'm so glad you remember me. You hide all the time, but now you are finally seeking. You. Inferior imaginary life form. Did you steal my diary? Going off of your logic, how can a fake person steal a real book? I don't know, but I need it back. Now. My old folks told me that if I run out of diary pages, my life is over. Your family's funny. Oh my god, you are serious? It's a matter of life or death. Diaries don't do that. You're being silly. I don't believe what imaginary people say. Then I'll show you instead. Ha, ha. Very funny. My subconscious thinks I'm insane. Hilarious. Wait, is this a loop? There are a bunch of houses again. I'll pick another random one. Man, my house looks... different. Is this the hide and seek part again? Yes. However, I can fly faster than you. I doubt you can fly. I'm doing it right now. Okay, hear me out. I know that it looks like I have legs in this shot, but I'm not supposed to. This program has limitations. So, can you fly up or downstairs? No, I cannot. Darn. It is a loop. Luckily I'm another hour closer to morning. The forest looks... scarier. Here, birdies. Gather around the marble nest. What? Hey, 
Do you like speedrunning? Answer my question before you ask your own. The forest is spooky because you're running out of time. Someone is approaching your house, and you gotta be awake to greet them. And if I don't? You'll die. Basically, you have to speedrun the entire rest of the game or permanently game over. Oh. Cool. Are you gonna show me another weird place again? Sure. Is this a town? What country is this? Traces of the supernatural reveal themselves more often than intelligent and reasonable men would prefer them to. Excuse me? This stage is not the one you perform on, Lodger. Exit stage left and return to your abode, or else suffer a tragic tale of plague and woe. Once again, I'm in another random house. Thus begins my speedrunning montage. Your fun pac man adventures end here Lodger I sprint the fastest speed in the game and I can use stairs like you. Oh crap. Let the pain begin. The more he wastes time, the closer I get. Is that... me? But how? How's Annie? Listen here, there's only room for one Lodger in this lodge. I'm gonna screw with your head. Check it out. Boom. Hey! Let's rock. How did you do that? No place to go but home. Answer me. How's Annie? Stop quoting Twin Peaks. No. Great. Another one. Hello! Don't you start making references too. Nah, I'm good. I hope you make it out of here soon. What? I thought you're here to waste my time. Aren't you a guest? Yeah. I'm a guest, but I'm way more chill than the others. I don't do damage to you or anything. The worst I do is unfix some lights, but that's rare. You're almost out of here. What are you gonna do when it's over? Not sure. I think whoever took your diary probably has a reason. You should hear her out. Wait. Her? Yeah, man. You know, the girl? She was in some diary pages after all. Something about a government program? Not sure if it was your diary or a family member's. Heck, it might not even be that girl. Still, she's the actual guest. She's the one who borrowed your diary and knocks on your door. Not some skull-face boogeyman. Why should I believe you? It wraps things up neatly for this video. You wouldn't want to mess around for more levels, right? I think a little fresh air would do you good, Lodger. Stop shutting the world out. Face the unknown. Eat healthy, exercise, and get proper sleep. Sure. Yes? Who is it? Another Plotagon video. Kinda lazy, isn't it? I bet an ethical experimental ran out of time to crank out another annual knock-knock thing. Why for knock-knock? What's so good about this game? Dedication to a self-imposed tradition? Perhaps. The guy doesn't cater to any demographic other than himself, so... I doubt this video will get high numbers. It will never reach the views of pathologic gangsta plague. Never. And yet? Here the video is. Creating content not for views, not for likes, not for subscriptions. Is it selfish to only make videos for yourself? I don't know, nor do I care. I watch whatever is on the screen. Let's watch something that's more relevant than a dead game then. Agreed. 